Hello, those are the wisdom keepers, wisdom seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today we are discussing the full moon eclipse happening at the very late degrees of Gemini this Saturday, which is tomorrow uh, from the point in time that I'm filming this. So we're going to jump on into it. And this is a multi-part series, folks. Before I do jump in, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Thank you so much to those of you who like this channel. Uh, every single video I do where I see all the likes, I really appreciate that. And it helps this channel grow. Speaking of which, we just hit a thousand subscribers, so congratulations everybody who's a part of the community, and welcome to those of you who are new. Today's topic, though, the, you know, Gemini Eclipse, this is a full moon, and this is juicy. This is talking about an awareness moment, and, you know, because it's an eclipse, this is totally part of, you know, the larger karmic cycle and time, and, you know, eclipses really bring, like, faded things, and uh, I'm getting really excited thinking about it, but, you know, the idea of an eclipse is that it's going to bring something that is not yet known, and that's the cool thing about it, right, is that you don't even know yet what's about to hit you. And because it's in Gemini, the sign of the twins, which we're going to do a video on in more depth, don't you worry. This is all the more so elevating the duality of it. So this eclipse is going to bring almost like a gift and a blessing. And at the same damn time, almost like a curse or a challenge. And that's what I really see this energy playing out as. So in this video, we're going to talk all about it. We're going to really dive into just this awareness point of what is this Gemini full moon eclipse about from the perspective of the sun being in Sagittarius and the moon being in Gemini? So this is a full moon in Gemini conjunct the nodes, right? Okay, so be sure you like this video if you haven't already, and thank you so much to all of you who have. And by the way, if you want to keep learning astrology for yourself at a deeper level, Wisdom Drops Astrology School is officially enrolling right now. That is so very exciting because this is a year-long master's program for people who want to learn the full depths of astrology in a way where you can understand it and apply it, okay? We are accepting applications. Not only will you you learn astrology, but along with my business partner, Trinetti, you will develop your very own business plan. And by the end of the container, assuming you, you know, keep up with our deadlines, you'll have your own functioning business. So anyway, link to apply down below. Let us get started. Okay. So here on your screen, what is this? This is an awareness, y'all, because the sun is opposing the moon. So the sun is always going to show us an awareness. So there's an awareness of something and there's a uh, emotional insight into something. So we have this kind of logical awareness, like the sun is shining a light on something, right? And at the same time that we have that, we have this emotional intuiting knowing about something, okay, that's making the situation interesting to say the least. And, you know, you could say the same, what I just said for any given lunation that is a full moon, because, you know, you're always going to have an awareness that is this more logical thing that is the sun opposing an intuitive insight or an emotional insight that is the moon. So this is going to show us right off the bat what we're dealing with in terms of this eclipse energy and, you know, by looking at these things further. So let's start with our logical awareness. What's coming to our awareness? And that's the sun. The sun is conjunct the south node, widely speaking, okay? Mars is actually very tightly conjunct the south node, which we'll talk about in a future video. However, the fact that the sun is in the same sign as the south node, which is the point opposite this little horseshoe right here, indicates that there's something of an awareness that is not only coming to light right now, but needs to be let go of, okay? So with all that said, that is to say, that Sagittarius, something about Sag needs to be uh, not only kind of aware in our mind, but also released. Now, we will also get into Jupiter's signification in a later video regarding this very topic. But for now, I just want to peep your you know, interest and awareness to the fact that the sun is illuminating something that needs to be shed. Now, on the flip side, the moon 
is a being illuminated, okay? And she is with the North Node at the time of this lunation. Therefore, she, the moon in Gemini, is revealing to us where it is we are to go. Where is it that we're to lean into? Where is it that we need to grow an awareness that is from an emotional or even a tangible monetary or material space? Because the moon rules all of that, right? So this kind of emotional yearning or an emotional GPS at this time is going to be highly tuned. It's going to be very tuned in. And it's not going to be necessarily the emotion of, uh, oh, my God, so much emotion like you're used to. Granted, it can. And if you're somebody out there because it's an eclipse, OK, who's witnessing that and experiencing that just be gentle with yourself and also realize, recognize, acknowledge in this chart right now with me that the moon is about to fly through the sign of cancer just moments, you know what I'm saying? Hours really after this eclipse perfects. So if you are feeling emotional this weekend, give yourself that space to be a cancer moon. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Now with that said though, this emotional insight you're likely to gain, it's in the sign of Gemini and we can't be diminishing that. So like I say, one of my next vids will be talking more about that. But for now, what you got to recognize is that this emotional intuition, this emotional GPS, okay, this is all coming down to Gemini Lane. And Gemini Lane is multifaceted because Gemini gets bored real quick, like an Aries almost, but they're like mental, you know what I mean? For better and worse, because it's so polarizing. So this late degree Gemini, right? This is all about an awareness of friendship. What maybe are you thinking about right now in relationship to friends, to friend groups, how you relate with friends and even siblings because Gemini is the sign of siblings. So how do you relate with siblings? Do you have a good relationship with your siblings or not? Is communication coming up for you right now? Are you really getting some downloads in terms of your emotional awareness and how you're maybe navigating and thinking about your emotions? And maybe you're sitting there realizing having some deep, profound insights into how you think, being connected with how you feel. Because Gemini is the most mental of signs, need I remind you. So you go and put all that with like this moon of the feels with it, of course, you're going to find yourself, you know, in a space where you're curious and wondering, you know, what's the next step, logistically speaking, in terms of communicating my true feelings. Do you feel that's good astrology, y'all, because it's a Mercury ruled sign. And because I would be remiss to not mention that because this lunation is happening in an air sign, the ultimate call to action for any given one of us is to lean into your thoughts, lean into your mental processes and lean into your social engagements. It is meant to be a time where you're growing social intelligence. Why do I say that? This is the last damn chance you, I, anybody out there is going to have for the North Node to be in an air sign for years and years and years until it comes on back over to Aquarius, okay? So just realize, realize, y'all, realize, and that's going to be one of my upcoming videos with this Venus-Pluto conjunction, you know what I'm saying, and with this Gemini eclipse, they could be coming out right now too. And you could have an inner awareness right now, y'all. Ooh, ooh, you could be having an inner knowing and you gotta trust that inner knowing. If you're having an inner knowing right about now, trust it, okay? With that said, make sure you like this video. And if you're trying to learn astrology for real, for real, and turn this into a real life practice, a functioning business that's totally customized and unique to you, Wisdom Drops Astrology School is enrolling, accepting applications linked down below. If you reach the end of this video, I would love to hear from you. Leave me an orange heart or a flaming ball of flames, some type of fire thing, because you are that hot. And with that said, through next time, until next time, may the stars be with you. Peace.